Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having a runtime error R6025 pure virtual function call error on your Windows computer. So this tutorial will apply for Windows 10 and Windows 11 computers. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in Windows Features, Best match, come back with turn Windows features on or off. Go ahead and open that up. And now you want to expand the Net Framework 3.5 section by clicking the little plus sign next to it. And then you want to go check mark the both options in here for the Windows Communication Foundation HTTP activation, as well as Windows Communication Foundation non HTTP activation. Check mark both of them in here and select OK. And then you want to select where it says, let Windows Update download the files for you. And give it a moment here.
So once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And then I would suggest restarting your computer. Okay, so now we're back in Windows. Open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now type in SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and then you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point you have been able to resolve the runtime error message R6025. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.